Hi, I'm Eric Cooper, Director of Cloud Service Provider Optimization, and I'm going to take you under the hood of Intel RackScale architecture. When we look at the industry today, we see this explosion of data, this explosion of mobile devices that are just flooding their infrastructure with demands. We see a lot of purpose-built hardware that's been deployed for specific workloads and applications. And that's just not flexible enough for what we see the end users needing today. The enterprise customers are looking at what's going on in the cloud and what the large cloud service providers are doing and saying, I want that. I want flexible and lower cost infrastructure and the benefits of deploying services much more quickly and decoupling those services from the infrastructure itself. Intel's rack scale architecture is really an effort to re-architect the infrastructure that runs cloud, the infrastructure that runs data centers. It gives us the ability to rapidly change the underlying infrastructure to solve the compute storage and networking problem as a whole. We can disaggregate the compute storage and networking resources to meet the ever-changing demands of the workloads. Then you have the ability to flexibly assign resources to the workloads. There are really four pillars of Intel's rack scale architecture framework. The pod manager is the software and firmware that exposes the hardware underneath to the orchestration layers above to manage and enforce policies. The pooled system enables composing of the compute storage and networking resources to meet the workload specific requirements. The pod-wide storage is the set of fabric-connected storage units that can be configured specifically to what the applications need. Each customer tends to have a different way of approaching storage. What's important to have is these generic hardware building blocks that personalities can be loaded onto so that they do exactly what the workload needs them to do. Finally, we have the network fabric, and this consists of the network components, the interconnect, and the management that supports a wide range of cost-effective network topologies. Intel's delivering a range of products and technologies across the entire rack to make this possible. On the compute side, we have the Intel Xeon server CPUs and the Intel Atom CPUs. On storage, we're delivering Intel's NVM and Intel's SSDs. And on the network side, we have Intel's Ethernet Switch Silicon and Intel Silicon Photonics Interconnect. We're also releasing the RSA Developers Kit to enable our ecosystem partners to develop their products that implement these capabilities. The Developers Kit includes reference architecture documents, industry standard APIs, and the software development platform. Together, these enable our ecosystem partners to develop their hardware and software stacks and their specific implementations that align with the RSA capabilities. And in fact, we're seeing a growing list of RSA-aligned partners who will be bringing products to market in 2015. We've already begun piloting RSA with public cloud service providers, telco service providers, and early enterprise private cloud adopters. By deploying Intel's rack scale architecture, end users are gonna see tremendous benefit. They'll be able to accelerate their service delivery from weeks to a matter of minutes. They'll see improved operational efficiencies, and you'll have interoperability where the hardware and software comes together in a seamless way. Putting all of these benefits together, the ultimate impact is that the end users will see better performance per TCO dollar as they deploy their services and applications. In 2015, we'll see products coming from OEMs, ODMs, and OSVs. And looking beyond that, we'll continue to introduce new technologies that enhance the capabilities of the compute storage and networking infrastructure. If you'd like to learn more about Intel's rack scale architecture, please reach out to your Intel sales rep.